Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an infinite reboot of your Windows computer. So there's a few different methods we're going to go through in this tutorial, and I just want to take our time and just go through the ones that I believe should hopefully yield the best results. Now, basically, we're going to be trying to get into our system recovery options. Now, there are a few different ways we can do this. So if you have a Windows 7 installation DVD or CD, like if you purchase a retail copy of Windows 7, you could boot your computer off of that and then select Repair My Computer or Repair My PC option right in the beginning of the installation. And that will load the menu of options we're going to be exploring in this tutorial. If you had the Windows 7 System Recovery Disk, which should come with most people's computers, and I believe you can get it online through Microsoft, I'd recommend downloading that if, as an option as well if you can't even get to the screen. And if you're able to get to the advanced boot options, which can be reached by tapping the F8 key repeatedly as Windows is starting up, I'd recommend this as actually the first option, but I wanted to go over a couple different alternative ways to get into where we're trying to go, because I think this is an important groundwork for what we're going to be doing for the rest of this video. So we're going to select Repair Your Computer if you're able to get onto the advanced boot options. On the other two options that require external media, like the CD and DVD I mentioned, you want to go and just access them and download them and just follow along with the on-screen prompts until you get to something that's going to appear when I'm showing on my screen. So I'm going to select Repair My Computer. It should say Windows is loading files. Again, the other two methods, it's going to look a little bit different. But if you're able to, try and tap the F8 key as your Windows 7 computer is starting up. That seems to be a very good way to do it and it might save a lot of time as opposed to the other methods, at least in the setup phase. So now you want to select the keyboard input method and then select next. You're going to have to enter in your computer password. And if you don't have a password, you might just leave it blank. So it should say choose a recovery tool at the top here. And you want to select command prompts from this list. And I should note that there are other recovery tools in here as well. So if you're experiencing this infinite reboot and this method I'm going to go through does not work, you can try running a startup repair, system restore utility, and you can also back up to a system image if you have one on your computer. So you want to select Startup Repair would be the first option I'd recommend trying out here. Okay, so it should say restart your computer to complete the repairs. Click on this finish option and it will restart our computer. Now keep in mind how we got to that menu before because there are other utilities like I mentioned that you can run. So you have the system restore functionality, you have a system image backup if you wanted to, as well as commands you can run and pretty much that would probably be ideal if you were using an external media. But if you're using a built-in Windows code, you're not actually using any CDs or DVDs, the command prompt method is probably not going to work as well for you, but I'm just going to put that out there, but it's definitely worth trying out. Okay guys, so you can see we have booted back into Windows and everything looks good. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to offer you guys some assistance, and as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.